One thing that people worry about with fair use is they say, well, it's not really a right, it's just a defense. And while I'm not a lawyer, I have had lawyers explain this to me in a ways that really make sense to me. And what they tell me is there are rights that are affirmative defenses that you only ever employ that right when somebody challenges you. And one classic thing that we're very used to is the right of self-defense. If somebody tries to hurt you and keep you down and uh, might be doing harm to you, you have the right to defend yourself. But you don't have a proactive right to defend yourself. If you are worried somebody might hit you, you can't go and pin them down. That would be bad. Uh, so you use that right once there's a reason to use it. So when you're employing fair use, what you're doing is un understanding what the law permits, which is repurposing material for a different purpose in an appropriate amount. You, um, what you're doing is asserting that, assuming that you can do that. And most of the time, in most of the US, most every day, most everybody is doing that uncontroversially. Millions and millions of middle school students are quoting from encyclopedias and their textbooks to write papers that they submit. And they never once say to themselves, I am going to employ my fair use right. They're like, of course I can quote here. And then if they quote too much, their teacher is like, no, the whole paper can't be the quote from the encyclopedia. That's plagiarism. And, and so, you know, they're learning as they go to make uh, an appropriate, uh, appropriate amount use of other people's copyrighted material um, to express their own opinion, create new culture, and incidentally use their, their First Amendment rights. People, uh, every, every person who wrote a community newsletter and quoted somebody else's, or on the community listserv, quoted somebody else's comment on the, on the community listserv, oh, employing fair use. The, these, these, uses, these uses are endemic and they mostly they're not even thought about. So all of those people are, are, uh, will be employing their fair use rights at the moment that somebody says, that's not fair use, you stole my stuff. I have, a, I have a limited monopoly right on that material. Then, then they're gonna employ their fair use right. And they're gonna say, actually it's fair use. Uh, and that doesn't make it any less of a right. It's a user's right that only comes into play then. And so when people say it's only a defense, that, that is a way of, um, of sapping the true power of fair use. And it, we don't need to do that. We actually need fair use every day. And not only do we need it, we're using it every day without even thinking about it. So we might as well um, own our knowledge of that important feature of copyright law.